Hi and welcome to this new video. In this video we are discussing Volostrone mobile version for Android and iOS and the ability to connect a transmitter to the mobile simulator using Wi-Fi. When I say Wi-Fi I don't mean Bluetooth, I don't mean connecting via a cable, I mean connecting your transmitter using a 2.4G Wi-Fi network connection much like you can connect your mobile phone to your home Wi-Fi network over 2.4G or 5G Wi-Fi. The reason for this functionality is mostly for Apple iOS, which does not allow the connection of our FPV drone transmitters to an iPad or iPhone using USB or Bluetooth. You have to have Apple approved devices in order to do that. And our FPV drone transmitters are not typically Apple approved. This functionality gets round that issue. To use this functionality, you need a 2.4G Wi-Fi network or a home router with a 2.4G network. We personally recommend using a hotspot on your phone as those are typically 2.4G or a hotspot on a tablet. In terms of hardware, you need either an ELRS capable transmitter or an ELRS module. You can also use a TBS Tango, a TBS Mambo, or a TBS Crossfire or TBS Tracer transmitter module, which also have support for Wi-Fi. For ELRS, you need ELRS version 3.4. At the moment, you probably need to build that yourself as there isn't a 3.4 release candidate available, but as soon as there is a 3.4 release candidate available, then this functionality will be by default included in that. For a TBS Tango or a TBS Mambo or a TBS Crossfire or a TBS Tracer, you just need those devices updated to the latest firmware for both the device and also for the Wi-Fi connectivity on the device. So you need both of those updated to the latest level. In the simulator, you need to go to the game options and turn on Wi-Fi joystick or there is an option in there that says Wi-Fi joystick enabled and you need that switched on. And that will allow Wi-Fi joysticks to connect to the mobile simulator. Now in this video, we're not going to show you how you set up ELRS to connect your ELRS module to your Wi-Fi network. We strongly suggest that you go to the ELRS website in order to understand how you set up a Wi-Fi connection between your transmitter and a Wi-Fi network. And similarly for the TBS Tango, Mambo, Crossfire or Tracer modules, we also recommend going to the TBS website to understand how you set up your TBS devices to connect to a specific Wi-Fi SSID. But the basics of this are that you need to make sure that your device that is running the simulator your phone or your tablet and your device that is you're using for your transmitter the ELRS module or your Tango, Mambo, Crossfire or Tracer module they also need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so the tablet and pho or phone need to be on a Wi-Fi network and the transmitter and its modules also need to be on configured to be on the same network and that way they can all talk to each other and allow the Wi-Fi stick controls to be sent over the network. Once you've configured your devices to connect to your Wi-Fi network SSID and you've configured your phone or tablet that you're running the simulator on to connect to your network SSID, the same one that you put onto the phone or tablet should be the same one you put on the TBS Tango Mambo or ELRS module. Once you've set that up, all you do is start the mobile simulator, make sure that the Wi-Fi joystick option is turned on, turn on your transmitter, and the transmitter will find the mobile simulator on the network and connect, and then you will see the transmitter appear. It will go from on-screen on screen sticks control to UDP joystick control, 
and then you can set up your transmitter just the same as if you'd plugged it in via USB or over Bluetooth. So exactly the same setup functionality as you would use on desktop Velostrain for configuring your transmitter and setting up your controls. And that's it. You can then fly over Wi-Fi to your mobile device. Now the one thing that I would point out is the reason that we recommend that you use a hotspot for this is that we are sending a lot of data very very quickly over the network and if your home network is quite busy then that could cause delays in those packets and you could get delays in your sticks when you're trying to fly on the simulator. Whereas if you use a hotspot on your phone or on the tablet then typically nothing else will be connected to that and as long as you don't have another 2.4G network interfering with it, which could also cause the packets to, to slow down or be delayed, as long as there's nothing like that in the way, then you should get a really nice clean network to send all of your transmitter stick data over to the mobile version. And, it's, and if you're running the hotspot, say on your tablet, and your tablet is running the simulator, then basically you're sending that data directly to the tablet it's not going via anything else and that will give you by far the best connection for your sticks without any stick jitter or stick delay okay so that's everything for this video and i'll see you on the next one